Hey guys, I'm your host Joy, here with another episode of Bulldog Bites. I'm here in the Theo Gallery, here catching up with Rigo Heldorn and Professor Kirkpatrick, who's just going to talk about the Overseas Exchange Program. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Thank you. Hi. Well, this is your first time in the U.S. Can you tell me some of the things that you did while you were out here? Uh, yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, well, I've, uh, when I came in, uh, well, I first went actually to the house of uh, Professor Kirkpatrick and went to the dunes in Michigan. And it was really nice uh, to be uh, there. And after that, um, in the, the last few days, I've been to the, to the downtown Chicago and visited a lot of museums and also uh, the skyscrapers. It was really nice to also to be, for example, in the Hancock Center and to see the, the view. It's not, we don't have that in the Netherlands. So. Wow, so I heard that you actually stay with him during his time. Can you tell me some of the things that you guys learn from each other and how you're, you're looking forward to going to the Netherlands also? Well, I learned a lot from Rigo about the culture, particularly, uh, we often call it Holland, but it's actually the Netherlands and just the structure of the school and then also, you know, the kind of general expectation of how uh, you interact with another culture has been, I would say the Dutch, judging from Rigo, are, are pretty upbeat, have a great sense of humor and, and know how to have fun and, and it's really been enjoyable, honestly. Wow, so interesting. So Rigo, can you tell me what are some of the things that you're going to take back and teach? your students and how you were impacted in the U.S.? Well, um, what I was, uh, uh, I'm not a teacher, I'm an educator in, in general, so I, I counsel the, the, the board uh, over there. But uh, certainly one of the things I, I saw here was, for example, the, the speech classes uh, where students just uh, pick an issue and they will pr present it. And, uh, well, that's not something we have uh, in our uh, in our system that much. So that you present yourself on a podium for a lot of uh, uh, people. Um, another thing is probably the honors program. Um, we we don't have uh, so much focus on our most talented. Um, uh, so that's probably what I will take back and tell them. From that I think that's a, a good idea to do so. Yes. Wow. So, P Professor Kirkpatrick, can you tell me why are you going to the Netherlands for the Overseas Exchange Program? Will you be teaching or just going for fun? Well, it's, a, it's intended to introduce faculty to culture and culture from abroad. And the Dutch are, um, you know, the tremendous history for me personally. I'm very excited because they're fantastic artists in Holland. Maybe you've heard of Rembrandt or maybe Vermeer, more obscure ones. So personally, I'm really excited about the art. But then I'm also interested in seeing how, how their, their school is structured. It's quite a bit different than the way we structure school. The, the, the college at Rigo is at actually runs from age 16 to age 20 is your typical student. And so that's, that's a very different approach to, to education. It's sort of a blend of almost those last two years of high school. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how that works out in application to see what those students are like and how they progress. Wow, definitely. Well, I hope you have an amazing time in the Netherlands, and I hope you enjoyed your stay here in the U.S. Yes. Yes, and thank you guys for joining me today, and thank you guys for watching. I'm your host, Joy, and we'll see you next time on Bulldog Bites.